Are you in love with the idea of marriage? Have you fallen in love with the idea of marriage, but are you not willing to do what it takes to have a good marriage? Paige says she thinks, she's been thinking this week, that she thinks she maybe she has fallen in love with the idea of marriage. I think she has. I really think she has. And I think a lot of women has fallen in love with the idea of marriage. Not that I believe anything Paige is saying, girl, because she's been talking a whole lot of mess this whole season of Married at First Sight season 12. And what do we see week after week? Every time the charlatan comes knocking, Paige goes the running and spreading her legs. So I don't know if I believe anything she says, but maybe something she said could help you. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls. Want to get married too? My name is Janice. Please be sure to subscribe. I am still trying to get to my 10,000 subscribers. I've lost 50, 60 people. I feel like YouTube is doing something. But anyways, I'm still hanging in there. Uh, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Remember my other channel, Study the Bible in One Year. And allegedly, Janice, I watch my shows over there. I watch a couple of um, short series this week that I'm going to do quick reviews on. I don't know if you guys are watching them, but I'll let you know. Uh, my book, this book in Christ I Am is extremely important. If you are a page, if you feel like you don't know your identity in Christ, you've been settling for a page and stuff. Uh, my new series, Moments of Gratitude, be sure to pick that up. 23 types of guys you might meet. The Chris's of this world is out here. The Derek Jacks of this world is out here. The Nikki wife. If you marry wrong, baby, you will end up being the naked wife. So Paige, um, remember to subscribe and thumbs up. Watch my Derek Jacks video with the wife in front of a house, whose house is it? Their house, the mistress house. All I know is since mistress number three, alleged mistress number three came out, they've been MIA. They just came back on the scene like Easter Sunday. But anyways, Paige brother and his sister, his uh, wife is over. I wanted to talk a little bit about the brother, but God's love couture, that is my sister YouTuber, she did a video on the brother and the covering aspect of it that I wanted to talk about. But since she did that video and I listened to it, this is why I don't like to <laughs> listen to others before I do my reviews because, you know, but go over to God Loves Couture. She's my sister YouTuber and watch that video about Paige and his brother. She, she really brought out some points that I was going to bring out about the covering. And you know, I've talked about that. I've written about that. How we need to be covered, ladies. We need to be covered. Okay. You need a man, father, uncle, brother, a male figure that's not trying to get into your panties to vet these men for you. Because as my daddy says, other men know other men. So while they can get over on you and your auntie and your girlfriends and your mama, they can't get over on a man. And this is why you need other men to vet them. But anyway, so make sure you check God's love couture out and uh, let me know what you think about that. So Paige, uh, brother comes to visit. First of all, Paige, and I said this in my other video, ladies, we are learning, okay? If you have a badonk dong, you don't even have to have a badonk dong like Paige. You cannot wear the underwear Paige is wearing in that dress. If you have a dress on like what Paige has on, you need to wear a thong or something like that, okay? My brother. This is talking about, you know, just doing little things you can do to kind of fix yourself up, especially for my single girls that stayed in for marriage. If I had that dress on, I would never wear a regular underwear with it. You wear thongs so that that the big old bingo draws is not showing, okay? It's not sexy, ladies, okay? Wife, Christina, come in so the brother and the wife, Christina, has come to visit. And she said she hasn't caught them up on much, which I have a problem with that because we've been asking all season, Where's her two daddies and the brother? Okay, she has a father and a stepdaddy and a brother. And we have not seen any male uh, protection interaction for Paige. Again, go over to God, God Loves Couture and watch her video on that. 
because she really, really brought out a lot of points that you ladies really need to hear so that you can understand. I know we're living in this independent, I'm a strong independent black woman that don't need a man. The devil is a lie, okay? You need a husband. You need a man. You need a father figure, a brother figure, somebody in your life to speak for you, okay? It's going to be a little painful because I have to relive a lot of moments. And so she said it's going to be a little painful because she has to relive a little baby. It's only been a month. Surely you're not over that. And then she said her faith has been tested. You married a stranger. Did God tell you to go marry the stranger? Because God hates divorce. Though he allows it, he hates it. And I don't think God would tell you to go marry a stranger when there is a high probability, a what's the percent, a 70 to 80 percent chance that you would get a divorce. Make it make sense to me, Paige. I'm just constantly seeking peace right now. Her faith has been tested. She's constantly seeking peace. You shouldn't have gone on the show. It's a lot to catch you up on. A lot to catch you up on. Hey, I want to let you know that the mother of my child and I are going through a reconciliation process, and I want to get a divorce. Oh my God! So Paige tells the brother and the sister-in-law that he said him and his wife is trying, him and his baby mother, baby mama trying to work it out, reconciliation, and he wants the divorce. The sister-in-law is like, "Oh my God! Wow!" The brother's like, "Wow." <laughs> I can't go see Couture. What she said about that. Just like that. He said, just like that. Just like that. There was no consideration for the other person that you're legally bound to. So she's saying, Paige is saying, there was no consideration to the other person that you are legally bound to. Paige, you married a stranger. You don't know the character of the person. You don't know the integrity of the person. And so Paige is thinking, because you are legally bound, then you should do all these things that she wants you to do. Granted, she is correct, okay? Because you are legally bound to the person, there are some things you're supposed to do. However, this is a stranger. You don't know the character and the integrity of this person. So saying this person that you don't know the character and the integrity of should, should respect the legal boundaries or their commitment to God to me is baffling. It baffles me. Because you're expecting this person to have the level of respect that you have, and you just can't. Okay? I just feel like I've never seen a level of rejection like this. She says she's never seen a level of rejection like this. So how many men have rejected you, Paige? How many men have rejected you? You've never seen a level of rejection like this. So there has been several men who has rejected you. Hmm. Paige, talk to me, sis. Then constantly being toyed with my emotions, and then you want to play the oh, you feel rejected. And so she said he was constantly toying with her emotions. Well, the morning when you woke up after he screwed you twice and then told you he wasn't attracted to you, that should have been it for me. That should have been it for you, Paige, because he told you he's not attracted, and you know, I give it to, to Chrissy. Men have to be rejected. Men have to be attracted to us. Men will screw you just like little Krista did and get up and tell you, I'm not attracted to you. You're just a whole. Ladies, let me tell you, to a lot of men, to most men you meet, 99.9999% of them, you're just a whole. 
You are just a whole. So stop thinking like Clara that if you give him, you get him off, then you gonna be something to him. No, you're just the whole. I need to write a book. You're just the whole. I haven't answered a couple of phone calls. Hello. 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 He has rejected Paige throughout this whole experiment. And now that maybe the light is coming on for her, I don't believe nothing she said. Now he's talking about he's feeling rejected. The mind games is it, baffling to me. I have a failed marriage and that's it. But it's like, do you not see the, the seeds that you have sown? Like, I was like, when has it been a time? So now she's talking about the seeds that you have sown. Well, it's, I mean, you wasn't paying attention to the seeds. He's sowing uh, page. So what you talking about? He told you, he told you he wasn't attracted to you after he screwed you all night. And then after that, you still opened up your legs. So what seeds are you talking about? You stepped out of your side of yourself. It was like, you know what? Let me drop a note on her door saying, I'm just thinking about you. A quick text like, hey, I hope you have a great day. And so now she's talking about what he didn't do. Think about all this stuff Lil Chris did to you, Paige. And so now you want him to text to check up on you, drop a note on your door to check on you. He don't care about you. Ladies, the man that you've been waiting to love you, Mary, you don't, he don't care. He doesn't care about you. So stop expecting and waiting him to do what you want him to do because, baby, he don't care. Because if he cared, he would have shown you, okay? I know this sucks, but I was thinking about you. You never went even bare minimum, let alone above and beyond to come to the house and give me some love. Like, you figure out our marriage or friendship, why would you want to be friends? First of all, Paige, why you want to stay married to the charlatan, number one. And number two, why you want to have a friendship with him? Granted, rumor has it there. They break up, make up, they you know, get together, do the do. I literally feel like my time is very wasted. I feel devalued as a woman. And I'm kind of realizing. She says she feel like her time has been wasted. Well, you went on a show trusting strangers to, tr to, to choose your a suitable mate for you. You feel devalued as a woman. I have problems with that because if you knew your identity in Christ, nobody would make you feel less than what you are. The moment, ladies, listen, the moment a man, a stranger you just met, make you feel less than you, who you are, are devalued, then the issue is you, not him. Because you can't depend on outside sources to tell you who you are. You can't depend on a man who don't who has not died for you to care about your feelings and your emotions and tell you who you are. And so if you're if you're dependent on outside sources to tell you who you are so that you can feel valued, baby, let me tell you, you have a rough head road ahead of you. Get the book on Amazon. Run on over there and pick it up, girl. These past couple of days have been a strong reflection process for me. With and she's saying these past couple of days has been a strong reflection process. That's good. The problem is the rumor has it out you've been spotted with him breaking up and making up things. So that's why I don't believe nothing she's seen. Maybe I've fallen in love with the idea of marriage so and so she said, maybe I have fallen within love with the idea of marriage. How many of y'all ladies have fallen in love? I'm going to come back and do a separate video because this, this, this is getting too long. But I'm going to do a video about falling in love with the idea of marriage, right? And marriage is over 50% divorce. Because most people don't really understand what marriage is. Huh? Most people do not understand what marriage is, why divorce is so rampant in the church and in the world. And so you've fallen in love with, with marriage, but you really don't understand what it was, what it is, because if you did, you wouldn't, you would have chosen, you would have chosen a husband to go the distance. Because see, a lot of, a lot of you 
women choose men for your emotions, but they can't go the distance. Come on, somebody. He can make you climb wall and call Jesus, but that's it. She says she's lost herself. She's falling in love with the idea that she's lost herself in this process. A month and you've lost yourself already, girl. A lot of women lose themselves in marriages. You know why? You didn't have an identity before you got married. If you had an identity before you got married, you would not have lost yourself. Any woman that I hear say they lost themselves in marriage, I look at them like, mm, you didn't know who you was before you got married. Because if you had an identity and a life before you got married, you would have kept a balanced life because everybody need their alone time. You okay? I took the kids out on the other day, Sunday, I think, one of them days, to give uh, Big Mike a couple of hours by himself because everybody need time alone to just be. And he does the same for me. Some days he took them out one day last week so that I could just have about two or three hours by myself. Because you need to spend time alone by yourself, baby. You trying to get with a man and you don't even know who you are. You don't even like being by yourself. It scares you to be alone. Anyways, let's just get this done with so I could go wake my kids up. The boy said you went through a lot. You went through the Hail Mary. Didn't make. It's not your fault. You tried. Put everything into it. He did the same. I'm not here to judge, but you know I'm saying you tried. Go over to Galos Couture. She breaks this down. She feels like she got the short end of the stick. I came with prayers of intentions. I wanted to break generational curses. I didn't want to get a divorce. How do you want to break generational curses? You didn't want to get a divorce, but you're trusting strangers to match you with a stranger. Make it make sense to me. Hmm. What mistakes did your mama and your daddy made so that you don't repeat them? Hmm. I know the mistakes my my daddy made, and I'm not going to repeat them. And both of my brothers on my daddy's side have been divorced. And when both of them was getting married, I told them, don't, don't marry. Don't, uh-uh, you're not ready. And these women are not right for you. And you know what I did? I waited. I was like, no, I'm going to wait. Because I didn't want to get a divorce. But I knew if, if I marry wrong, let's go. She didn't want to have a failed marriage in the process. She why her loss of self. She's asking her, why God is this happening to me? Oh, and the boy, brother said, embrace the struggle. The devil's like, eh? And so if she embraced the struggle when the blessing come, he I fully agree. And God is saying you gotta go through because I got something for you. So God wanted her to have a failed marriage so he could bless her with what she has. <sighs> I got to go. Right. If really find what loving yourself because you don't love yourself. It's true. Page don't love herself. And a lot, there are a lot of pages out here. I'm going to come back and do a video about are you are you a page? Watch my other video about Clara. Are you a Clara? I'm going to do a video on each woman so that you can find yourself. Are you a page, a Clara, a Brianna? I'm going to stop it right there. Are you a Brianna? Are you a Virginia? Are you a Haley? You need to find yourself so you don't make those mistakes. <laughs> All right, beloveds, I love you. I'm going to run. I'm going to um come. I might. Today's what? Mm. I, might, I might come back to do a video. I want to do the videos on when the ladies met and the guys met, but I'm not sure if I'm going to come back. I love you. Let me know what you think. Bye. Remember my books. Show your love. Show your support with my books. 
uh, on Amazon. This is my new series. My new, this is brand new. This is a journal you can write in. You believe in God for your husband, write in it. And this is my journal entries. A lot of prayers in here that I prayed for my husband. And one day, God brought it to pass. Okay, God, bye.